Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come to this Eucharistic celebration asking our Lord Jesus Christ, the bread of life, to continue to protect us as the Father entrusts us to the care and protection of His only begotten Son. And so to prepare ourselves for this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, His tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in Him. He rules by His might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, we see in our Gospel passage today, Jesus telling us of His mission, the purpose of His mission, the purpose of why He was sent by the Father. And Jesus, in our Gospel today, tells us that the Father entrusts to Him all of us. He said, the Father wills that I should not lose anything of what He gave me. The Father entrusts us to the Son. The Father gives us to the Son. Ito po ang ipinapaliwanag sa atin ni Jesus sa araw na ito sa Ebanghelyo na ang ating Panginoong Diyos, ang ating Ama, ay ibinibigay tayo, ipinagkakatiwala tayo sa pangangalaga ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo, ang kanyang bugtong na anak. That is why Jesus says in our Gospel reading, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me because I came down to do the will of my Father. And the will of the Father is that I should not lose anything, anyone that has given to me by my Father. Tayo po ay ipinagkakatiwala ng Ama kay Jesus. Kaya po sa araw na ito, ay ito po ang ating pinupuntahan, ito ang ating nilalapitan sa banal na Eukaristiya, si Jesus na tinapay ng buhay. At alam natin na tuwing tayo ay lumalapit sa Kanya sa banal na misa, ay ipinagkakatiwala natin ang ating mga sarili kay Jesus sapagkat alam natin na ang Ama ay ipinagkakatiwala naman tayo sa pangangalaga ng Kanyang minamahal na anak. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, let us entrust ourselves to Jesus in the Eucharist as we celebrate this Mass as we celebrate this Eucharist together, even if you are watching online, this is our action in every Eucharist that we attend. Let us entrust everything to Jesus. Ipagkatiwala po ninyo kay Jesus lahat ng inyong mga alalahanin, lahat ng ating mga takot at pangamba, 
pag-aalala, lahat ng ating mga plano, lahat ng ating mga gawain, mga gustong gawin, ito po ay ipinagkakatiwala natin kay Jesus sa Eukaristiya. Sa bawat misa, ipinagkakatiwala natin lahat kay Jesus. At ano ang sabi ni Jesus sa Ebanghelyo? Lahat ng lumalapit sa akin, lahat ng lumalapit para ipagkatiwala ang kanilang sarili sa akin, ay hindi ko bibitawan at hindi ko pababayaan. Sapagkat sabi niya, yan ang misyon na ibinigay sa akin ng Ama. Ang hindi kayo mawala sa akin. This is the beautiful promise of Jesus in the Gospel today. That is why in every Mass that we celebrate, even if you are watching online, we entrust ourselves to Jesus. Our worries, our fears, our plans, our work, our day-to-day -day lives, every Mass that we attend, we entrust it to the care of Jesus. Because that is His promise that He said, I was sent to do this mission by the Father. Everyone that is given to me by my Father, I will take care. And when you come to me, the bread of life, He said, I will not lose anything of what He gave me. In our first reading today, we hear about the story of the Apostle Philip. When they were persecuted in Jerusalem, the Apostles, including the Apostle Philip, went to the other places in Israel, in Samaria. And there, he preached to the people, and he did not only preach, he performed miracles, unclean spirits being driven out. Many paralyzed and crippled people were cured by the Apostle Philip. This shows us that even if Jesus already ascended to heaven in this part of the Acts of the Apostles, He is continuing to care for people through the apostles. This is the proof that Jesus came down to our world so that He could fulfill His mission of the Father and trusting us to His Son. And now Jesus takes care of what the Father has entrusted to Him. And even in the time of the apostles, and until now, Jesus is working. He continues His work of taking care of us because the Father entrusts us to Him. And so, in this Mass, my dear brothers and sisters, let us believe in this. As Jesus said in the Gospel, you will see and should believe in the Son. Believe in the mission of Jesus that He came down from heaven because the Father entrusted the world to Him. The Father entrusts everyone to Him. And this is the promise of His mission that He will take care of everyone entrusted to Him by the Father. Sa misa pong ito, Iyan po ang paniwalaan natin, panaligan natin na si Jesus ay bumaba sa mundong ito para tayo ay pangalagaan. Ito ang misyon na ibinigay sa Kanya ng Ama. In this Mass, let us entrust everything to Jesus because He came down so that we could entrust to Him all our cares. Sa misa pong ito, ipagkatiwala po natin sa Kanya lahat ng ating mga alalahanin at gawain. Sapagkat sabi niya, kapag tayo'y lumapit sa Kanya, 
tayo ay kanyang pangangalagaan. Ito ang misyon ni Jesus. Amen. Confident in the generosity of God the Father who gave us His Son in the Eucharist as food for our souls, we bring before Him our needs. For every petition, let us say, Father, bless us in the Eucharist. Father, bless us in the Eucharist. The church leaders may witness to Jesus, who is the bread of life, in a world which is hungry for meaning. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us in, in the, the Eucharist, Eucharist, that government officials may be actively involved in finding solutions to the needs and concerns of our poor brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us in the, the Eucharist, Eucharist that those who see little need for God in their lives may be drawn back to the nourishment of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us, us in, in the, the Eucharist, Eucharist, that the sick may experience the loving presence of Christ through the reception of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us in, in the, the Eucharist, Eucharist that the faithful departed who ate the bread of life may live forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father bless, bless us in the, the Eucharist. Eucharist. Heavenly Father, make us truly grateful for the gift of the Eucharist, which gives us hope and meaning to our lives. We ask this, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these paschal mysteries so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us 
but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours 
forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to thank uh, all of you who have joined us in this celebration, those who have continuously supported the Manila Cathedral by sending your donations and your help, we thank you all for regularly uh, following and helping us to continue our mission. And also for those who have uh, sent their help uh, to give uh, food to many people right now, those who have uh, gave their uh, donation, who have given their donation for the community pantries, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo. And we are... Uh, uh, very overwhelmed by your support and by your help always. We invite you again tonight as we uh, pray the Healing Rosary uh, for the World, our Wednesday evening habit at 9 p.m. And tonight we will be 
are led by the praying of the rosary from Fort del Pilar Shrine of the Nuestra Señora La Virgen del Pilar in Sambuanga City. And we will be praying in front of the canonically crowned image of Nuestra Señora La Virgen del Pilar from Sambuanga City. And so we invite all of you to join us tonight at 9 p.m. so that the whole country, the whole world may be together in praying the rosary for the healing of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Shelly, Letare, Alleluia, Pia, Quere, Ruisti, Portale, Alleluia, Esurexi, Sigundixi, Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia.